Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am so excited for today's video because I have a very special guest. I'm back. It's Taylor. Taylor from Taylor Made Style. I'm gonna link her channel down below. Guys, we have done so many collab videos together and we just- Most collabs, Chloe and Taylor. It's we an get award. an award. Yeah. Okay. We are super pumped though because we're gonna do one of our OG thrift videos for you guys where we go into Goodwill, we thrift for each other, and then we swap bags and style each one up. Mm -hmm. And basically, you guys are gonna wanna go over to Taylor's channel after you watch my video so you can see what I thrift for her, how she styles it up. Guys, we have completely opposite styles. If you guys haven't seen one of our collab videos before, just pull her up. Yep. Show them the pants. <laughs> Look at these pants. I have like psychedelic pants on. I got spouts. And I'm wearing like <laughs> faux leather leggings. Like we are just completely different. I feel like you're Paris and I'm just like an alien planet. No. Like, <laughs> but it's so fun because we- No, I love it. I mean, yeah, look we, at the nails. I mean, we're just, we're so different, but I think that's what makes these videos so opposites fun. Opposites attract. Yes. Yes. I seriously, I look at Taylor's style. I look at your style and I'm like in awe of it because it's something that I could truly just never pull off. I feel like you could, but you'd have to believe in yourself. And you're like, you're you're a neutral gal, you're classy and you're chic. And if I did that all the time, I feel like I, I couldn't pull it off, you know? I think what's fun though, is that when we come together and we do these videos, it literally drags us out of our comfort Yeah, it pushes zone. us out of what we would normally buy for each other because the pieces that we get for each other, like it's never something that we would normally thrift for ourselves. Yeah. But all of them are amazing and we like style them up in a way that's like uniquely our own. So I feel, yeah, it pushes us out of our comfort zone, but it's still like I don't know, within our style somehow. Like we understand yeah. each other's style, but still like know how to like maybe not cross the line, <laughs> but get really close. Really close. <laughs> if you guys haven't watched any of our previous videos, I'm gonna link literally all of our collabs There's down so many. below. You are gonna want to see the last one we, that we did <laughs> because Taylor literally thrifted me this like- It was I like don't... basically like a pilgrim style dress. I don't know. But it not like a, even like a- It was, it was like, like a 70s prairie style. That's what I would- Okay, but it was bright teal. And okay, no, it was like patterns. 80s. The entire entire thing was patterned, bright teal, just like I loved high it. neckline. <laughs> it's so funny because my subscribers are totally used to me, like just whatever, I will wear it. Like, and my subscribers are like, oh cool. And yeah. your subscribers were like, what teal? What is that? <laughs> They've never seen me in teal. That's not true. I get color sometimes. That's the running joke on my channel. Is they're always like, please wear some color. But I'm like, it's just who I am. What's funny though, because some of y'all really like resonate with me because you're the same way. Like you like like neutrals, like chic yeah. kind of style. And then sometimes people are like, you are the most boring dresser ever. So you know? I think you're not boring. You're just like classy, and you I go just for know really my, refined things. I know my style, yeah. and it, yeah, it's very refined. Yeah, so. my style is called not literally defined. whatever it's whatever <laughs> and i think that's what makes these videos so fun because it true like i feel like i just laugh the entire time when we film these videos because is you're it like, like what do you think about this and i'm just like oh god <laughs> one time remember that time i almost got you a kilt <laughs> And you were like, I was like, okay, yeah, that seems <laughs> Wait, like a good idea. And then I was editing the video and I like walked away from camera and you went up to the camera and you're like, I'm so glad she didn't get that from me. <laughs> yeah, I and saw, I did not know you said that until I was editing the video and I was like, oh I my God. I saw the pile of stuff that you like had put back and I literally was like, Thank God. I was like breathing easy after I saw the kill get put back. So we're going to go in and see what we can find. I'm definitely I'm you sweating. I'm like in the sun right now. I'm sweating, guys. It's like hot. Lot, but also it's, it's also snow. it's a lot but we're super pumped and we're so glad you guys are here for today's video like i said be sure to check out taylor's channel she has the best thrift videos i'm talking like edit style personality taylor is one of the most i'm a fun. thrifter she really that is, is my like thing. every single video is a thrift video so if you like thrift videos honestly guys she's like the jackpot like all things thrift decor home stuff now which you're doing which is i did some, amazing yeah. i did some home stuff i mean she kills it so Thanks. You have to check it out, yeah, come join me over on my channel. <laughs> so it's so hard to say that. <laughs> okay, Anyways. we're gonna go on in, see what we can find. We're gonna split off. It's nice knowing yep. you. Yep, nice seeing you. Yeah. Glad we had our hour in the car. Yeah, I'll see you next together. Year. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> see, you, see you in three months. <laughs> no. Okay, but great. See you guys in the thrift. All right, this is the state of Nashville. We've got snow. I almost wiped out leaving my house today. Every time we get together, it's just chaotic mess. I'm literally a thrift influencer. I, I only take my photos at the Goodwill. <laughs> Hi. 
All right, I'm back in the store. I had to go back out to the car because I left my phone out there. I feel like whenever I film, I'm always a little disoriented. <laughs> but I forgot to ask Taylor what I'm looking for. <gasps> Okay. We're like, we didn't talk about what we were we looking for. We didn't talk for. about anything, just about our lives. Okay, so I'm just gonna get anything with no color for you. <laughs> I no, only one real. color. I feel like I know your style, neutral. Yeah. But are you looking for anything like specifically, like pants, Honestly, shirts, whatever? Just, not really. Just go for it. Maybe like something like spring, spring, -ish? spring ish. Yeah. Okay, cool. Um, for me, yeah, I'm looking for a couple like spring pieces. Obviously, it's still very cold here, but I'm I'm feeling the spring itch. Yeah. And also, I'm really loving color I right now. I know. Look right now. <laughs> You're loving color always. I know, but like really, really loving color right now. So if you were to find something that was like a fun color, I'll be here for it. Okay, yeah. So that's it. Love it. Okay, so Taylor says that she wants stuff that is springy and to me i'm thinking maybe like a pastel blazer or like a really pretty flowy blouse she wants color of course so we're gonna lean more towards like maybe like some fun pastels i'm thinking very like light colors not like as much neon and fuchsias and stuff like that so let's just see what we can find <laughs> I'm gonna try to avoid Taylor in the store. I see her over there by the dresses, so I'm not going that direction. I'm gonna look through short sleeve blouses because she's looking for something spring. I found some amazing kind of like lightweight blazers that I think she would really like. I'm trying to think like what's her style, not necessarily what's my style. So they're kind of wild, honestly. I have not been to this Goodwill in forever and I forgot how much good vintage stuff they have here. So I'm hoping I can find some sort of really unique vintage piece for Taylor. That's definitely her style, so fingers crossed. Okay, so Taylor came over to where I was, so I'm moving over to the slacks now. Try to avoid her. We try to make this like as secret as possible so we don't know what the person's getting. So now I'm over in the pants and looks like there's a lot of color, so hopefully I can find her something. I just found the coolest pants ever. They're pastel and I think they're her size. Would have been so cool they're a pair of high-waisted linen wide leg pants but there's a horrible stain on the back not getting those okay here's the vibe so far we've got pink Pink. Okay, these are just awesome. I know they're not spring, but I feel like she would just actually really like these. These are like suede. And then, of course, pastels. I'm trying to see what else there is, guys. Honestly, I should just do one better and get her these. What do you guys think? I think she would die if I got these for her. Oh my gosh. Wait, show them the top. I thought she was getting this for me. So as I'm telling everybody in my video that I'm getting this shirt for myself because I know Chloe wouldn't wear it. She was telling you guys, I hope that she doesn't get that for me. <laughs> but, it's, but it's actually It's actually, like, yeah, it is. Just so cool. 70s or 80s, I'd say. I didn't even know what it said because I was like across the aisle way down the store. Yeah. I literally thought you were getting like a spring break spring. top. I was like, Taylor, okay, like, what are you holding spring up? Spring 2020. But knowing that it's like actually. No, I think it's really funny because if this is 70s, then I feel like it's kind of fun. That was like the disco era and like somebody's, somebody probably wore these with like bell bottoms. And it was, was like angsty. really yeah. yeah angsty i love it i love it All i right. love it for you <laughs> yeah, for, for me <laughs> all right so now i'm gonna look through skirts for taylor i have a lot of really good pant options but i want to see if there's like some different bottoms that i could choose from that she would like 
Skidwell has seriously so much stuff, so I'm just having a great time sorting through all of it. I really like this, but I wish it was more spring. I don't want to get Taylor more like fall winter stuff, so I'm not gonna get this, but that was super cool. Gosh, I actually like die over this. I wonder if this would fit. This is so, I mean, but it's really short. It's really, really short, but I kind of like it. We'll just throw it in the cart. Lots of pink going on. There's a lot of pink. over in the short sleeve tops and I'm gonna go through all of the patterned and colorful ones now I was only able to go through all the whites and like solid colors because Taylor was on this side but now that she's gone I can go through all of these and I have a good feeling about this Okay, why do I kind of love this? Like a lot, like a lot, a lot. I think it's kind of fun. I'm just gonna throw it in the cart. We'll see what happens. pants I found. I wonder if they're her size, but I think they're so cool. I'm gonna throw them in the cart anyway. Y'all, look at this mirror that I just found. It's a three-piece bedroom set. We got sidetracked from thrifting, but this is not insane. I'm dead. This, this is so good. All right, now I'm looking for shoes for Taylor and I always forget that we're like relatively the same size. So she wears a size six, six and a half. I'm size six as well. It's very rare that you find somebody who has the same shoe size as you. So lots of fun, colorful shoes to choose from. These are wild. Oh, size seven. I feel like Taylor would love these, but I don't think these are her size. Oh, those are so cool though. I hope she watches this video back and sees these because they're amazing. All right, we're looking for size six, which is also my size. And you guys know I don't find shoes in my size very often, so it's gonna be, you know, a little challenging finding something for her, but these are actually, as I say, I don't find anything. These are 36. Throw those in there. My tactic right now is to just grab a bunch of stuff and then hopefully just confuse the heck out of her so she doesn't really know what I'm getting her, but I'm kind of just pulling whatever catches my eye right now. These ones are also kind of crazy. Super fun. It is very rare that you see my cart look like this. This is what my cart looks like when I'm shopping for Taylor. And honestly, y'all, it is so fun because I know she can pull off anything. So I never worry about getting just crazy stuff for her because she truly can wear literally anything. All right, now I'm popping over to bags and I feel like if I get her a bag, it will be like a bonus item. It won't be one of the five just cause you can only, you know, really style up a bag so much. It's just a bag, but I wanted to take a look. Oh, it's kind of a cute little fake LV looking bag. Okay, she said she wanted some color, so here we are. I hope she's happy. Okay, I'm trying to figure out what this section is over here. <laughs> just like a little random pocket of, honestly, who knows what, some bags some dresses this looks like my bridesmaids dresses just kind of ventured over here because taylor's over by the dresses and i need to get over by the dresses i am gonna go over by the dresses now and hopefully taylor is oh no 
someone just broke something. Hopefully Taylor is kind of away from that area because I need to go through that area. I think that might be one of the last sections that I have to go through. So making my way to the dresses. I found this jacket that I really like. This is not Taylor at all. This is very me. I thought this was super cute. It's from J. Crew. It's like $13 though. That feels kind of expensive for a thrift store. Keep getting distracted. What was I doing? On my way to the dresses. Y'all, they have so many dresses here. Like this entire wall, all dresses. There's got to be something here for Taylor. She could pull this off. I think she could pull up the color. I feel like she would actually really, really like this. This is so pretty. I feel like this would be such a beautiful spring dress. I really like this one too. I think it's so beautiful, this vintage dress. I just, I love the black floral print. So now I am in the tank tops and I have honestly grabbed so much stuff. This is like the bonus round. I already know I have five really solid pieces. So now we're just making sure that we don't miss anything, but I'm gonna go through tank tops and see what there is. Look at her go. Taylor. really love this cardigan but it has the annoying built-in tank which I don't think I like so I wish it was just the cardigan though because I think it's such a cute color cute flowers it's actually really pretty coral it's showing up really muted on camera but it's this gorgeous like coral top but we don't like the built-in tank gotta be honest i've bounced around this store so many times from like section to section back to like a section i've already done i like don't know what i've looked through so i don't know if i've looked through long sleeve tops yet but now i'm over here and it's looking like it's new stuff so maybe i skipped this section in the beginning i don't know y'all i have literally so much stuff though like like a lot of stuff and so i'm gonna have to figure out how the heck i'm gonna narrow it down to five pieces because i love them all so much Taylor, how's it going? It's going pretty good. I feel like I have a good range of things for you. Some of them are a little wild. Some of them I think you'll really, you know, feel at home in. But so far, really good. Do you have like a good variety or is it mostly like tops or? Um, I found a pair of shoes. I found a skirt. And oh, then I found... oh, skirt, exciting. Yeah. A kilt? A... It's not a kilt. There were no kilts, I looked. <laughs> I did Rest but... assured she would have gotten it. <laughs> I would, yeah, I would be in the cart if I found one in her size. Um, I found it, did I say I found a pair of shoes? I found a blazer. Love it. And then I found tops, mostly tops. Can't wait, you know I'm a blazer fan. I love a good blazer. I know, and, and this blazer that I got, it's a little, you know, it's a little out there for you. Funky. So I think, um, I think you're gonna like it. I'm excited. How do you feel about the color pink? I love pink. Actually, that's like my one favorite color that isn't tan. Okay, that's good. That's good. Good then, stuff. Okay, good, good. I, I have a lot good. of pink for you too. My cart I... is mostly pink, if we're being honest. <laughs> Let's just do a pink theme video. Everything. I mean, good. honestly. So I'm over in like a separate section of the store, and I'm gonna show you guys all the pieces that I'm not getting Taylor. So first up 
is this H&M top. I really liked it because of the pleats and the buttons, but I feel like it's a little bit safe for what we're going for for Taylor. So we're gonna pass on that and move towards the more colorful pieces. Okay, so the next piece that I'm not getting Taylor is this tropical shirt. I felt like it was a little too, I don't know, a little too dark for spring, even though it is floral, it's still very dark and I wanna do something a little bit lighter and brighter. Not gonna get these pants because they're tan and I told her I wasn't gonna get her tan, so we're not gonna get these. I really liked this polo because polos, I don't know, I feel like they just came back this last year. Everlane's put a lot of polos out and I just feel like a polo is really cute. This had a really cute sleeve detail. So I'm not gonna get this one. This one felt too coastal to me, a little too like seaside. Not gonna get that. Found this blazer, but it feels a little too, like too dated, not modern enough for Taylor. And then I grabbed two pairs of pink pants, but I really like the seafoam green ones that I found more. So I'm gonna get those and put these ones back. This top I'm not gonna get because again, it's tan, but I thought it was super cute. I love this like this pleating in the front. And then this is the last top that I'm not gonna get. Again, I think it just feels a little bit too like fall, winter, and I don't think it's very appropriate for spring, so I'm gonna pass on this one as well. Okay, Goodwill is closing. We just took the thumbnail. Y'all, I'm gonna insert the clips at the end of us trying to take this thumbnail. It's hilarious, but Goodwill is closing, so we gotta go. That was a very quick thrifting experience. I feel like Taylor and I normally take our time, but we kinda had a rush because we talked for so long before. So, feels good to be done though. It's dark out now, that's how long we've been here. I do not mean to be dramatic, but we shut Goodwill down, shut it down tonight. Actually, it's just closing early because of the snow, which now is freezing over again. And we're walking at a snail's pace. My shoes are just soaked. No, so are mine. I can't tell what's a puddle and what's like ice. The ground. Yeah, it's a lot. <sighs> Okay, well. What's up, Chloe's fans, subscribers, friends, viewers? I am so excited to be up here all up in Chloe's channel. And she's over on my channel right now talking to my subscribers, which I think is so fun. Just like giving our platform to somebody else to build each other up. I just honestly love Chloe's friendship and love that like we can create videos together and grow together basically. So I'm really excited to see what she has picked up for me. Typically I try to keep it a big secret but the bag kind of majorly ripped so I did get a tiny sneak peek of some of the colors in here which there are a ton of colors. Clearly you can tell I love color, I love funky stuff so I'm really excited about what she picked out for me. So I guess we're just gonna start with whatever falls out of this giant rip in this bag. And I already see a shoe popping out, so let's just start there. Okay, okay. I love these. Sorry, I'm not holding them up very good. I'm just too excited, guys. These are BCBG Girls little like kitten heel mules in this fabulous candy red color. And they have like a faint almost like silver stripe going through them. I have been looking for a good red shoe for spring, so this was just spot on. And I feel like I could do so many fun stylings with these. They could be super classy. You could do them with more of like a funky look. I think you could definitely dress up like a basic jeans and t-shirt kind of look by adding a fun pop of color in your shoe. So I'm so excited about these. I love these. Great job, Chloe. All right, next in my big bag, okay. We have a, looks like an orange or kind of like a mustard and navy printed pant. These are just like an H&M sort of work pant. The only thing with these is that I, I just hate typical work wear. They're very just basic silhouette. I think styling these in a funkier way and just like leaning into this really fun pattern will be really good. I'm almost thinking I want to do like a Gucci inspired look with this, maybe a sweater vest, just make it really fun and very maximalist. So probably the opposite of what Chloe would do, but I'm excited to show you guys. So yeah, I have some ideas running. I think these are really fun. They're definitely not something that I would typically go for, but my wheels are turning on how I can definitely make these more of like a high fashion sort of piece 
and play on this fun pattern of these pants. I see yellow popping out, which I don't normally go for. Okay, this is pretty cute. So it's a textured blazer. I love this texture and it's a really nice mustard yellow, which I like. I being fairly pale don't normally go for yellow but i like this sort of like mustard marigold because i feel like it, it complements my skin more than washes it out my battery just died so i just switched it back out but back to this blazer i love the zip pull there i think that's like super trendy so i'm excited to style this up i don't know if i'm going to style it like open or closed so I'm excited to see what I do with this one. This is definitely pushing my boundaries a little bit, but I'm excited to try it out. I see something orange, I see a bag, so let's go for it. This cute rattan orange bag. I love a good like handbag like this because I feel like they're so fun. Um, this is such a good spring and summer bag. Just add a little pop of color. So I don't know, I might style this with something that's a little bit more neutral or maybe I'll just like go all out with a color because why not but I think this is definitely gonna be such a fun bag I love orange I feel like a lot of people are kind of scared of the color orange so I'm excited to hopefully give you guys a little bit of inspiration on how you can in incorporate a really saturated bold color like this with an outfit and like make it look cohesive so I'm excited about this I feel like this is such a good texture for a spring summer look so We'll see. We'll see what I come up with. I see some neutrals, which I'm excited about. <laughs> These are fun. Okay, this is great. This is just like a classic kind of beige trouser. Looks to be high-waisted, which I love. These are great because they're just like a blank canvas. They could literally go any way, which is why I do love neutrals. I know we have been talking about how much I love color and prints, but I definitely think you need some of those more neutral pieces. So I think this is going to be a really good basic that I could have like endless options to put a look together with. I see some spring florals. What is this? Oh, that's so cute love this like watercolor print it's kind of giving me like monet lily vibes like i could be a walking monet painting in this i'm excited about this one i think this is going to be a really fun piece to style up it looks like we have reached the last item and i was promised pink and there has not been a single pink thing in this haul yet so obviously we had to end it with some pink so it's a little almost like tennis style tweed skirt i love this it's definitely not something that I normally would have picked out for myself, but I think I could do something really fun with this. And again, all of these pieces here, so outside of my comfort zone, which is why I love doing these videos with Chloe. We really push our personal style and I just think it's fun to like be given a little bit of a challenge. So I'm going to go back into my wardrobe now with all of my amazing pieces that Chloe got me. I'm gonna style them all up and show you what I come up with. All right, outfit number one, the amazing floral rayon dress. I wanted to do something super funky with this, but I also am going to give you a second styling of this piece because I feel like it deserves like a more spring moment, but how I would wear it right now to transition into the spring is I would put some black pieces with it. So I paired my Tommy Hilfiger boots, also thrifted. I feel like these are so trendy and I paid $10 for them at that same Goodwill. I felt like this dress needed to be cinched in a little bit, so I thought that that kind of like helped give me a little bit more shape, and then I thought my space buns like paired perfectly with it. I kept the same little smiley face earrings, and then I would also throw my leather blazer on top of this that I wore yesterday. Here it is with the blazer. So I thought this was like a good way to transition the piece into spring and summer. This is how I would style it for spring and summer, and I'm incorporating the cute little orange rattan handbag with this because I feel like it really helps to bring out some of the colors in the dress. I paired the dress with my white Tevas. Also, thank God I put on self tanner today because my legs were looking so pale. I don't think I could have shown you guys these outfits without having a little self tanner. I have this like 80s belt that I paired with it. I feel like it kind of plays off this nice teal color in here. And this is how I would style it 
for spring and summer. All right, the next look, I am styling up the printed orange and navy pants. To be honest, guys, I really struggled with this outfit. This took me a long time to put together. I tried a lot of different options because I was just... I don't know, these pants were hard for me to style. I love how it turned out. It's a little bit like Gucci. It's also a little bit kind of that dark academia vibe with the oversized collar and this sweater vest. I just took the jacket off to kind of break down the look for you guys, but I have these thrifted like drop heart earrings, which I feel like are so sweet. And then I have this 80s vintage collared shirt it's just like a dress shirt which i love for layering this vintage 80s daisy little sweater vest and of course the pants which i feel like go really well with the like larger print this is like a little faux dior bag so i have like another print there and then i topped it off with this navy jacket also thrifted i believe it's 80s and i love this like honestly this was a really big challenge for me chloe but a good challenge so i decided to go all out with the pink playing off this very fun tweed skirt that chloe got me i have to say this is probably not something that i would go for but i really love it it's kind of that early 2000s vibe that's happening right now and so I just went along with that put my Tommy boots back on I feel like they have a very like brat stall kind of vibe and then I paired this thrifted little polo sweater in this nice light pink color more pink with the like 90s little shoulder bag. I kept on my same heart earrings I had in the last outfit. And I really like this look. It's very different for me. I don't normally go for like the mini skirts, but I think this was a really fun look for me to put together because I love pink. And it was definitely a piece that, you know, again, I wouldn't have picked out for myself, but really love how we styled it up. And I think this could be such a fun, like spring transitional piece because tweed is such like a winter fabric, but this is definitely more of like a spring piece. So as soon as it gets warmer outside, I will definitely be wearing this outfit. So good job, Chloe. Love this piece. All right, the next piece is the mustard blazer. And again, I don't wear a ton of yellow, but I really love this like marigold sort of color. And to kind of steer it away from looking a little too mature for me because I think this cut could definitely go in a very like 90s businesswoman sort of way. I wanted to toughen it up so I paired my Topshop leather pants with this and then I have on this crop cinch little Harley tee again just for a little edginess. I paired another little 90s bag. This is literally the same bag as my last pink one, but I have it in black too, and I just love it. I love a good little shoulder bag right now. And then I wanted to break up some of the black, so I threw in these pony hair leopard mules. I thought they just added a little touch of, you know, a good texture, another good pattern, since I don't really have any patterns going on here. So I love this piece, again, not something that I would have like picked out for myself, but I love this and I feel like it could be used in so many different looks. Last two pieces, I put in one look because I thought they went really well together. The camel khaki colored trousers, they're a really good crop. I like the structure of like the leg that they're not a super tight pant leg. I like that they're kind of just like a straight cut. And then I also used the super cute BCBG Girls red little kitten heel slides, which I am obsessed with. I feel like they could go with so many different things. When I put these pants on with this top, I was like, these shoes would actually go really well with this. So that's what I did. This is a thrifted sweater. I love the pattern of this it's like a nice like raspberry and blue and white check which i feel like is super trendy right now and then under it i layered an oversized collar and then another little 90s bag just a good neutral to kind of bring the whole look together but i love how the final look turned out it's definitely a little bit different for me because i don't I think I own a single pair of khakis so good on Chloe you got me something that I don't have in my massive wardrobe which is a plus and I love how the final pieces turned out together so 
10 out of 10 Chloe. I really loved all of the pieces. Definitely brought me out of my comfort zone, but I had a lot of fun putting all of them together. I hope you enjoyed thrifting with us. Thank you so much, Taylor, for collabing with me on this video. Be sure to go over to Taylor's channel now to see what she picked out for me and how I styled up all of those pieces. But if you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up and leave us a comment down below letting us know what your favorite piece was that I thrifted for Taylor. And if you're new to my channel and you want to stick around for some more videos, I go thrifting literally all the time. So be sure to hit that subscribe button and I will see you guys in my next one very, very soon. Bye y'all. Oh. I'm holding it steady. Okay. Okay. You got it? Yeah. <laughs> That's gotta be it. We've gotta have it. Got it.